what is happening ladies and gentlemen welcome to this cast this is chatting parrot live on the mic for you in this beautiful wednesday evening today we are watching the case of two lower tier teams namely the newbies and loyal and the loyal dogs esports um i got the maps in but sadly uh they did not tell me who banned which one it's really hard to get anything out of uh, anyone so someone banned downfall and someone banned court but who banned which did it? <laughs> what do i know i'm just the caster so what we're gonna do we're gonna just uh, guess who did that by looking at the uh, you know at the information at hand so if we take a look at our teams, we're looking at two teams, both in bronze. The newbies are the team who are going to be home. And statistical-wise, the band is, let's see... They played it once in this season. How many times did they play it down for last season? Not even once. So this is a pretty good indicator on their part. Downfall on Loyal Dog's side, not even once this season and last season, two times. So I'd say I'm just gonna just gonna be frank here. Downfall is a newbie spam. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that this is the case. If it's right, who knows? Well, next time maybe tell me who it was. Wait a minute, this is not what I meant. And Corrigine is going to be a ban by the Loyal Dog Esports. So, 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 so. Go. Now, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Our first map is going to be. Da, 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 da. You can probably hear it already in the background. It's going to be Tanker. A close quarters map. I believe we are getting to see Tanker, um, Suburbia, probably, and also maybe Cargo. This is just my guess, because these kind of maps are favorite among the um, Bronx tier teams. Very easy to learn, fast to learn, and relatively easy to play if you somewhat know how to do it. So, whatever, we are enough talking here, no much time for an intro or uh, kind of presentation here. This is going to be straight up game, in onwards, the newbies, round one versus the technical difficulties, which are not here, it's just taking forever, here we go. Lord of Dark Esport, we already have fire going down. A smoke is flying, but gets blocked off by these cranes here. Yes, crane is an animal, not a... Is it a crane also? A push is coming in here by anybody. But, Nutjob takes down... L I'm Donny. Andy Butt is downstairs, right, my bad. He's coming up from behind. Mousecraft takes down Mr. Buddy. Shadow Warrior takes down Monoscraft. So Andy Butt comes from behind, takes down Naminat. I'm Gary, he's still awake, takes down Wake. The shield is down. Andy Butt on the uplink. Coming from behind, but Andy Butt gets taken out by Frostnye. It's a fast game, ladies and gentlemen. No time has been wasted. So far, one minute is over and already five people have died. Mr. Buddy take down Frost Knight and each other out. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Gary is just narrowly escaping Nutjob. Nutjob taking up the shield. Going in for the weapon. The draw is on. They are just cycling each other. Now the shield is being drawn. Gary comes around and takes down Nutjob. Who is playing Reservists? I believe for the loyal for the newbies, loyal dogs win the first round. Wow, what a what a what a start, ladies and gentlemen! What a start! Already going fast, already going strong. As the newbies take down, uh, sorry, as the loyal dogs take down this first round on Tanker versus the newbies. So far, I did not even take a look if what dips you guys had on the outcome though. So, but dips wise, the newbies actually, it's the same, same. It seems, wait, let me uh, get that bigger. No, it's the newbies 9, loyal Xbox 20. So, you guys think the loyal dog's gonna win. Well, let's see what we have to deal here with the teams wise. Both are Bronx. 
I'm gonna take a look at the standings right here. In Europe, both team European teams. And standing wise, we have the Loyal Dogs at the 15th place, while the Newbies at the 14th place. The Loyal Dogs having their third game this instance um, and gives them the decider and where to actually play in the roster. So both teams are basically up the like on the bottom of the food chain and it is up for debate which one's gonna beat the other one. The newbies are even newer than the loyal dogs I believe the loyal dogs were only active also active the last season. Are both teams were active the last season the newbies got formed around the same time as game fist and therefore both teams are Pretty new. But we're gonna go in for the game. Gameplay is commencing, ladies and gentlemen. We are going in. Round two. This time, the newbies on the defense. Let's see how they're gonna manage it. Again, a strict push is happening. A lot of smokes are flying. A lot of pre-fire is happening by Frostnai here. So far I can see that they both teams do not really have care for the patience. They're going strong, they're going fast. Namiat and Moosecraft on the push. But Shadow Warrior takes down both. Is it really funny? Confirm the kill on Namiat. Shadow Warrior has just planed the way for a push. Gary going downstairs, Frost and I on the right. A frag is flying. It's a flashbang. A push by Notjob. Notjob gets taken out by Donnie. Gary take down, take down on Wake as Shadow Warrior takes also down Donnie. And a shot from behind as Mr. Buddy takes down Gary. This is only one person alive. It is nigh. Frost Knight is a last one alive. He has to make it. Ooh, takes down Shadow Warrior as these guy tries to revive Nutjob. But I believe he managed and succeeded in reviving Nutjob. Yes, it is the way I have seen. I have proclaimed the win. Uh, not the win, <laughs> the revive. Frost and I going downstairs now. Mr. Buddy on the location. Knife fires behind him. Oh, it is a nut job and my trade giving the newbies the second round against the loyal dogs. Both teams do not really care for any kind of chillaxing here. They do not have the patience and this leads to some fatal errors. If you just hold an angle at a certain time, if you somewhat know where the enemies will come out by uh, keep pushing, then you have quite the edge on these teams but they are as i said very new teams they're getting used to everything so therefore we are gonna see maybe some beginners mistakes maybe even some uh, phoenix moves so to speak so some, some things happening I mean, these kind of games can be quite entertaining. We'll take a look at, uh, let's say, the team from Deadshot. Uh, Super Deadshot. These guys were pretty entertaining to watch. So, kind of makes sense.
the next round is commenced. Round 3. This time the Nibis on the attack. Do we have some shields? Yes, wake with the shield. Take a look at Shadow Warrior here. Gonna follow them downstairs. Nutjab as the reservist. He is playing uh, quite a lot recently for the lower teams. I've seen him. I think I've seen him playing against the bigger at one. With Supernatural. Pretty nigh, nigh getting only missed. Some fire is coming out as Anybody takes down Donnie. And the other way around. Wait, I'm confused. Where the hell was Anybody? Oh, not up taking down Donnie out. These are bulletproof. Cannot be penetrated. Oh, Shadow Warrior taking down Frost Knight. Happening. They're trying to penetrate. I'm telling you, not possible. As Wake and Mr. Buddy just blasting at each with another on Moosecraft here. And Gary, bullets were just flying. But I tell you, these covered boxes are bulletproof. As you just have seen. Coming around with the pistol for some reason he pushes the shield with only the macro of the worst weapon in this game literally it is the worst weapon it is an iconic weapon but it's, it's not good confirm the kill as shadow Out comes around takes down gary and gives newbies the edge on this round let's take a quick look at the statistics here ladies and gentlemen Following on the newbies side, leading is Shadow Warrior, followed by Nadja with four kills. Then two kills on Mr. Body and Anybot and one kill on Wake. On the other side with only two people managing to make till kills is Gary and Frost Knight. Gary with five and Frost Knight with four. So it's a very focused kind of Efforts, I'd say. I mean, they're putting all their efforts in, but it seems only these two people are getting killed. And the next round is coming on. Let us see who wins this time. If it's going to be a head on head battle or if it's going to be a straightforward fight. The newbies. Spanish speaking. I do not speak Spanish. Uh, me gusta la biblioteca, I suppose. We have a midward push. Ooh, Donny taking down Wake. Not just the Bueno having a little bit of fight off.
We see a lot of bullets flying, but nothing connecting, though. Now job take down Donny in the end. And therefore, the right path, the south path, has been cleared. Confirming. Shadow Warrior on the defense here. No one is going for the north path downstairs as Mr. Nimiad, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is going in with the shield. His uh, night vision is not all interesting though. I don't see a laser pointer though. This is a laser pointer. Yes. Interesting. Nut job taking out Frost Knight. Nut job comes from behind. Nimiad going in the prone. He's turning away for some reason. Shadow Warrior is not going for the push, but that grenade. Fla flash has been gone. Nut job comes around. Probably got flash because two flashes were just delivered, and Nut job takes him down with the macro. Well done. Only two people are remaining. If we take a look right here, it's Moosecraft. Anybody taking down Gary? Only one person alive now. Moosecraft has to do the clutch. He has to do the clutch. It seems that the defense is just a very strong point for both, or the offense is very bad for both. I'm not quite sure yet. Moosecraft misses. The shield gets taken up by Nunjab. Now Moosecraft has been detected. Never peek the same window twice. What Moosecraft here is doing is very dangerous. Ah, he gets taken out by Moose by Shadow Warrior. The newbies win the third round. Giving the third point to the newbies. So far it seems that the tanker as a choice from home team newbies has been proven to be not bad. But I see a lot of like mistakes of um, the static play that people tend to do. What we saw with um, Moosecraft, um, he's alone. So if he's alone, the problem uh, that means in this case he had four people against him. As soon as he is discovered. All, or at least three to two people, will try to move upon his position. It's quite dangerous to stay in one place for very long in that case. You will get surrounded. I just have that experience, I experienced that on uh, 13, just a little comp lobby back then, or a little normal lobby, or this comp lobby, where I had uh, Nolik and Gucci against him. Like two people, they knew where I was. I tried to move fast, but I was too slow. And that led, uh, led in, in the end, led to that movement where both came from different sides and uh, basically, even though I tried to push one, I got pushed from behind and got taken out. This is the same thing happening here. If you're standing too long in one corner, especially if you're alone and overwhelmed by numbers, you are get, will get surrounded. And therefore, the best case in scenario that you're gonna do if you are alone against overwhelming number of force, take one out and rotate away as fast as possible. Be invisible move fire fast move fast be hard to track so we're not gonna be able to surround them. basically do a little bit of guerrilla faction if you want to just just poke the enemy a bit oops and then run away that's what the uh what the <laughs> what the south koreans did to the no not south korean to vietnam sorry did to the Americans. Americans were overwhelming me in the force. But the Vietnamese were home. They knew how to poke. They knew how to move away. And that's how they won the war. Round 5 is commencing. 
this time the uplink is upstairs. It is the newbies on the attack. The shield with wake. Oh, that is an interesting grenade. You could uh, easily throw that just at the side, but it's gonna not gonna do anything as Gary takes out any butt. Nice smokes. Oh, the shield gets taken out by Donnie. Don't go for the shield. Not job. Not job behind you. Oh, he does the same mistake. And Mr. Buddy takes down Gary. Basically, it's only two people alive. Gary and his comrades downstairs still. Gary's going in for low. Mr. Buddy takes down Moosecraft, but Donnie sees Mr. Buddy, takes him out. Now Frost Knight takes down his teammate. It's a team kill with revive as Frost Knight is alone. Shadow Warrior is the last one surviving for newbies. It is a one-on-one. -on -one. This could be the winning round for newbies ASAP. Shadow Warrior has his eye on the uplink. The uplink is free. Frost Knight is busy reviving. If Shadow Warrior goes in from the left side and quickly takes the cap, it could be a 5 1. Shadow Knight coming from the right side. He's making sure no one is seeing him when he revives. Frosty Knight is coming from the left side. Shadow Warrior doesn't see him. Frosty Knight takes him down and gives the Loyal Dogs another chance on victory here. Well done. Another point for the Loyal Dogs Esports. Quite an unfortunate having had a lot of losses. But sometimes you gotta pull yourself through the mud to win some matches. Let's take a look at the all-time history for friendly people by the Loyal Dogs. The Loyal Dogs played two times this season. No wet wins yet to prove. Last season they played nine times, won zero out of those. So it's fair to say that this team has had a harsh start. Quite a harsh start. And they hopefully will make do this season. Sometimes you gotta push through the mud, right? Compared to our friends from the newbies. The newbies played four times this season and had yet so far no wins. Last season they played five times but had two wins. I see they played one against Neurality, which is I believe the new team from Mr. Deadshot. No, no. Deadshot was on the team but Anyway, let's take a look at this match now. Gameplay is commencing. Be ready! This time the newbies on the defense. They have the advantage of defending. It is an aggressive push by any but downstairs. Ooh, Gary take down Donny as anybody takes down Frost Knight. It was a team kill on the Loyal Dogs part. 
Don't even move him back around. As Mousetrap takes down Nacho. What the hell? Anybody has to reload. And Nimia pushes him. Takes him down. The fail. That was a fail. I'm sorry to say. But this was a blatant fail. Had no ammunition left. Had to reload. And took too long. Instead of taking a sidearm in this case. Or maybe knifing. He was so close. He probably could have run down Nimiad with the knife. But hey. It happens. It happens the best of us. I failed a lot of times too. But now the team's got to push up together. They have two in the far back left. One Gary and Moosecraft are on the right side. I just heard that also Shadow Warrior is not part of the newbies. Interesting. So we're having two reservists. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think the gentleman thing would be to ask for either three against three. Uh, or maybe three, uh, uh, four against four with one reservist. Because two reservists. Oh, Nimia take down Shadow Warrior. But it seems that Loyal Ducks are managing quite well as well. Hi, Gary takes down Mr. Buddy. What is Donnie shooting at? Ah, the C4. The newbies now one man remaining. Uh, remaining. The cap is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh Did he just miss him totally? He just missed him. And the Loyal Talks win by elimination instead of cap. It's gonna fit a cap. <laughs> what did I just witness? Oh, way. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. The Loyal Ducks are now head on head with the Newbies. The Newbies having two residents. Okay, this is like a controversial topic. So, a general reservists, especially on lower teams, have quite an impact. They, the purpose is to keep a team afloat just in case they have an unfortunate uh, missing of player. It can happen all the time. Some internets are rolling out. You have a Worst case, like, you have a blackout. You have no power whatsoever. You're not going to be able to play. And then you need someone taking your place. In this case, um, a resist. So, but it's an argumentative thing. Especially on lower teams. Because these people, reservists, often enough, have quite more experience than new starting teams. Let's talk about... Let me, let me think. I think... Uh, Let's say culture. Culture. Culture Indo has play does not play as much as it did um, in his more active days. Is still more experienced than let's say someone from movies, like on esports, or the supernaturals. He does have more experience, map knowledge, and therefore is considered maybe a better player. So it is somewhat controversial. If players in this category should take a place of a team player. But on the other hand, how is it supposed to be handled differently? Should we classify reservists by skill level, let's say, uh, new, experienced, or professional, so to speak? But I don't think we have enough reservists for that kind of work, so that probably not happen. So far, we have to take what we have to get. Although, I, I find it questionable as well if two residents have to step in. Then you should probably think about forfeiting the match to another place in time. Well, enough of the discussions, enough of the controversial theories here in this controversial cast. As a new round is happening, the final round is happening for the bra bra all the time. Teams, the newbies versus loyal ducks. Mm. 
Mr. Buddy and Wake on the right side of the stairs. We have a push downstairs. Both teams. The defense this time pretty static. We have a pretty strong push. They do not expect someone to come out. It seems. Any but downstairs. Let's take a look at the defense. Donnie and Nimiat. On the windows. Moosecraft outside. Quite a dangerous place, if I may say so. No cover whatsoever. These things are not bulletproof, so watch out. Boom. Frost Nye and Gary inside. You have to be careful. This is a dangerous, dangerous uh, position. As you can cap from four places at the uplink itself, left and right, uh, on the uh, bunk beds. On the walls of the bunk bed. Ooh, Frost Knight taking out Mr. Buddy. At least this is what my information, what I have in mind. I'm, to be honest, sometimes I'm quite confused on what is capable or not. We had moments where we tried to cap exactly in this scenario, but then we failed. And oh, that grenade by Donnie. Donnie on the push. Confirming kill as Shadow Warrior takes down Moosecraft. Nice job on the push. Denny has taken up. Oh, it's a trade. A straight up trade. No one is alive. Oh, a team kill. Another team kill. What is happening? What is Frost Nimia doing? She just killed two of her teammates. Probably costing her the win. She will not be able to defend. Oh my god. Shadow are coming from behind. Take down Nimia and giving the newbies the round by Oh yo yo yo. What the Google Watcher was that? Google Google Watcher. The newbies win the first round. By the team kill fail of Nimiat. Neo. No, Nimaniat. I'm sorry, I uh, failed that name. Sorry. Next round. Ooh, we're gonna see what match is happening now, ladies and gentlemen. That was no, no good, no good. Non Biano. Well, whatever. Cargo is happening, ladies and gentlemen. A fast map, going fast, going strong, going pa pa pow. The loyal dogs failed this fa this could have been quite the win despite using two or at least I know that Najib is someone experienced um, using somewhat at least one experienced reservist the loyal dogs eSport managed to take down two more points for themselves and then had this meltdown with the team build. Oh, no! No, this could have been their map! No bueno, no bueno. Oh, it's so sad. I mean, it's not like I didn't think I, I had my round today quite a lot. It's not like it's not happening to me. But two times in a round. Two times. That is a big oof. A big oof. Anyway. We're gonna be, uh... We're gonna make sure that we have now yet another quick round on our hands. As the Morgoths have chosen to be the attacker. Or, well, they have not chosen them. I'm not confused. The newbies have taken the defensive position. Which normally means... They had, yeah, that's quite right. Sorry, Loyal Dogs choose the map, Cargo, and Loyal Dogs took the side. We, this is uh, hard to swallow. That's why I need some water to swallow these hard pills.
and we're popping in. Next round is commencing. The Lord of Dunks on the attack. Do we have some shields? Nope, no shields. Although it would be quite a nice map for a shield. Night Vision does work on cargo. Despite being very quite bright. Take now Nimiant. That's what I tell you about more experience. He knows how far he can go without being detected. Shadow Warrior taking out Frost Knight. Two members of Loyal Dogs down. C4 got bloated. Reason, I believe. Which one? That is uh, up to discussion. Ooh, Nutshop and Moosecraft having some solid traits. It is still one people, two people, one people, one person, <laughs> no, two people, Gary and Noni here alive. We have to manage to fight four people of the newbies. Four minutes and 25 seconds remaining on this quite beautiful clock. Oh, Donnie, why don't you have the gun with you? Do, 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 do. Oh, Donnie, why are you running away, you Donnie? Do, 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 do. Oh. I just... I just... Nah. Okay, and team kill is going out by Gary. He's now alone. Three minutes for the <laughs> This is going on. <laughs> Loyal dogs are <laughs> surely some bite happy people. Meow. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Now Gary is on the push. He might be a victim to anybody here. Denim. 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 He takes down Wake. He and anybody does not peek despite the bullets. He does not peek out. Anybody is strict. He has an angle and he will not stop holding it. Whatever comes his way. And Gary takes him down. That's what I tell you. Peek, pick, I mean, and then rotate. Blow me. Ah, uh, blow the mic. Um, um. Now Gary's on the move. He could be now a <laughs> victim by any but. He did not secure that barrel position, which is like one of the most common positions being taken in this defensive stance. Gary. Ah. Oh man, Gary. And he gets taken out by any but and confirmed. The newbies win the first round with the Loyal Dogs. Yet again, a team kill is happening. Why though? Why is this necessary? The newbies take one, one point. So far it is five against three. It seemed pretty solid, but then they lost the end. Maybe the Loyal Dogs will turn the tide, but it's not their chosen map. So we're gonna see Maybe you can figure out how we did on cargo so far. I mean, they did not win a round. This is... Uh, you did not win a round last season on cargo. This season, uh, 12 times they played rounds. So the Loyal Dogs played um, 
this round, so rounds, not maps. They played cargo 12 times in rounds. And one fought of those rounds makes 33 percent So it's even if they have no wins on this map, they played it twice. Uh, they maybe have a chance to take. If we take a look at the newbies in this season, maybe they have played the cargo some the time. Yes, they have, and they have played nine times on this map. And one, so nine times on this round. <laughs> rounds. We are talking about rounds because we have not enough. Uh, if we were about map times, then we would have just few. So we're just gonna go down the notch and just take a look at rounds. And we have nine rounds. One of those rounds is win makes 11%. So if we go off the statistics, despite uh, oh, having fewer numbers for the Royal Dogs, they should win this round. We will see now. We take a defense this time. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see as the static if the static's as defensive as thank you for Q for the bits, my friend. Ooh, a lot of free fire is coming out. Any but on the pusher. Nimiat is Nimaniat Nimaniat. Why don't you have normal names? <laughs> a great smoke. That is a great smoke cover in two sides. That is a great smoke right here. Giving Mr. Buddy. And that is a great frag. What is happening? Suddenly the notch is turned up. Oh, Shadow Bear take down Gary on the push here. Another frag. A little bit too short, but the idea is great. And the pre-fire also. So far we see some solid moves from Mr. Buddy. As, oh, Cross Nia takes down anybody. Nutjob takes down Nimiat. And Mousecraft takes down Nutjob. So far the defense is holding somewhat okay. We have two revives, each on one team. Loyal Dogs going for free and Nubis going for free. We're free. We're free, not for free. Mr. Buddy is now in the Schnitzel House. In the Döner Bude. Shadow Warrior take now Moosecraft. The Loyal Dogs are turning into dust so far. Another great smoke. Taking the vision completely by Frost Knight. No, it's a little bit too inside. Ooh, it's a trait. Mr. Buddy and Donny taking a trait. Buddy's still alive. Frost Knight taking out Mr. Buddy with a confirmation. It is one and a half against two and a half. Mr. Wake on the uplink with the shield. His teammate does not care for it. He, the revive goes out while the shield is on the push. The push. The push, mesdames et messieurs. Frost Knight. Whoa, Wake wanted to cap, but got saved by his teammate as the push came out and the newbies take the second round. So far, 2 sorry, 2 0 going for the newbies. I see, I saw some great smokes. That frag, the counter frag, actually, that came out, I believe, by the new I'm not quite new man yet. <laughs> new man yet. Um. <laughs> Sorry, it's a... Uh... No, no, I'm crazy sometimes. Um. Yeah, well, that was a good frag. At least the thought of it was great. Uh, sadly, he did not go through there, uh, but on the uh, left, on that, my, my brain is not working anymore. Let me fight.
And the next round is happening round three, ladies and gentlemen. So far, going for the Loyal Dogs and the newbies. This time, Loyal Dogs on the offense, though. And I pray I don't see any more team kills here. We are already in the, in the match. That is a, a hot number. Both teams are holding back. Only Nutjob going in a little bit more braver this time. Oh, he takes down Hayam Gary and he takes down Moosecraft. That was a great push. Donny on the aggressive path as well. It's not a lot of... It's, it's not quite smart to be pushing alone. Mimiad and Frostmite. They expect someone to be pushy. Najab make a kill. He opened up the defense of the offense and would be in a position to, to push, actually. But he does not. He stays safe. Awesome. And Donnie a lot of noise. A lot of fire. It's on the right. I'm pushing up. Najab getting more and more. To the enemy territory being quite brave, a brave nut job. And he takes down I'm Dotty. Now only two of Loyal Dogs are remaining. Frost and Nimania. Oh, Nutjob serving another ice cold platter of I told you so. As he takes down the fourth alone. He is clutching, 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 clutching. The clutch is happening, ladies and gentlemen. As Nutjob on the push. Frost Knight turning back. Rotation is happening. And the trade is out. And the clutch complete. The newbies win the third round with the help of the rest of us, Nutjob. Well done. This leads to another... <laughs> I cannot keep talking about Reservist, though. Maybe we can look up Reservist, though. Oh, uh, yeah, a Reservist list is existing. Take a look at... You can find a nut job here. Found it. Aha, we're gonna use some hacking tools. Oh, interesting. So, Nutjob is a reservist who played for Vikings in the 6th and 7th season. Interesting. Onward Connoisseur never tried to guess outcome of a match. Oh, man. He's British, it seems. Oi. Giving some British, 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 uh, Germany. <laughs> and yeah, he's playing for the newbies today and proving to be quite valuable. He basically took out this entire team alone. Interesting. Oh, enough being interesting. Let's take a look. And this is the final round for the newbies. In a hueco, Kiri. Showing, oh, Donny and Mr. Buddy having a straight up trade, but Mr. Donny's still alive. Moosecraft giving Mr. Donny the golden shot. Oh, anybody take down Donny? Oh, Gary, come home, taking it down. 
Oh, no, what? Yeah! What is this? Another team kill. I am profoundly angry. As Frost Knight takes down her, his, sorry, his own teammate. I believe Mia Maniat. Miat, I cannot stop doing that to that name. Mimaniat. Mimaniat was female in that case. Pushing up, giving Shield a few uh, solid hits, testing out if it still works, and it does. Frosty Nye keeps. Oh! And Wake takes out Miamiat. Oh. Frost Knight gets shot at by anybody, but escapes narrowly. Sadly, it's all about camping. And it's a trade giving the newbies the fourth round and the map series against the Loyal Dogs. There we go, 4 0. Now it's the question which is going to be the next map? On this beautiful Wednesday. It's Wednesday, I believe. Ah. It is suburbia. for you up in the mall. And the next one is commencing first round on Suburbia. This time the newbies are in its offensive. Get a D 
defensive, a blink in the garage, Rust Knight upstairs, scary, by the tank, we have Donny in the middle house, it is Andy Butt. Oh, Andy Butt gets taken out by Donny. The buddy gets shot at by Moosecraft. A grenade is falling down from the tree. Landed right on my knee. Frost Knight takes down Wake. my house wait did I just witness that a fr ah how are they doing that how he team killed here with a grenade my god Muska taken down Mr. Buddy clip someone clip that grenade I'm gonna spam them I'm gonna spam these dudes <laughs> it's getting ridiculous only one attacker of the newbies alive. It is not job. Can he redo his miracle of cl clutch from last round? I mean, it was a good grenade, but <laughs> still a teammate. <laughs> I'm dying here. <gasps> oh, Mousecraft takes out Najab and the newbies get eliminated, giving the loyal dogs the next round on this map. How are they keeping things? How are they keeping? Throwing these frags. They keep throwing the shade. <laughs> the loyal dogs are a number themselves. It's so great. It's very. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I feel it's so unnecessary. They are proving that they have somewhat of a skill. They're moving okay. They are seemingly hitting something, even though it's often not their teammates. If they could, like, stop doing that, they would probably do way better. But hey, sometimes they just, uh, well... I don't know, if they're an arcade team, they maybe do not have the chance to play as often as someone who has that VR set up at home. And can basically play every, every evening or a whole day if he, if he desires to. And so, uh, maybe this is why they have less uh, practice in this kind of matches. Let's do this! Next round is commencing round 2. This time the noob is on the defense. Still garage uplink. Despliéguense. 
five teams clutched like this. Hmm, where have seen a bad outcome from five people in such tight spaces? Where? I do not know, but I remember that it's something to do with me menacing laughing. So, uh, maybe, maybe they should watch that clip. <laughs> because what they are doing, at least did, like a few seconds ago, that it was dangerous. They got a split here. Vale, flanco derecho. Uno y... approach this time by the loyal dogs is way more cautious we do not see any hard push except for one dude let me guess it's not job no it's wake this time mr buddy take down gary and gary mr buddy I guess uh and the confirmed kill by i'm donny is out wake is coming for the push from behind Shadow Warrior firing. Oh, wait, take down Donnie. But me money at smelts, Don Wake, because Wake needs to take a shower. He needs to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, köstlich. They do not have to s seem not to have a clue that Wake comes from behind. And Frosty is ignored. He did miss yet again. Moosecraft gets taken on by Wake. Oh, but he realizes it takes down Wake. Now it's a free against two. Fires come down on the money yet. The smoke, nicely done. That is a good smoke. But not covering anything as Shadow Warrior kicks on Nami yet. I meant that in the case that this would be a great smoke if you want to come to the top of the house. On Shadow Warrior. Andy Bud should take down Frost Knight any second. It's a two on one. One minute and ten seconds remaining. Oh, Frost Knight deserving nut job. It's a one on one. Frost Knight is exactly doing what she's, uh, he's supposed to do with the rotation, but he does not end well as the 
middle house has eyes on that section and newbies are taking this map. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? We have so far two people on Shadowway, two, pe uh, two kills on Wake, one kill on Mr. Buddy, one kill on Andy Bud. On the Loyal side, we have minus one on Gary, three on Donnie, five on Frost Knight, and one on this guy. aka Norse is delivering some back info on our teams. Both teams started around last season, mid to late. Newbies got started through the starter league made by Jamie. Makes sense as uh, Emil Shu or Norse is actually the organizer of the, um, at the moment, paused um, of Loydox is simply, yeah, I, I can agree. So, Loydox is probably an organization by an arcade in Spain or Portugal. I'm not sure. I cannot put it here to be too good to go. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, they are very professionally presented. Like, if you take a look at their team roster on the website, all specially photographed with their own. Like uh, trickers and stuff. So it's pretty nice, Last match map for both teams. Gary take down Shadow Warrior. Straight up trade. Andy Bud is on the uplink. Is this a care by the newbies? The smoke giving quite nice cover as Nimaniat does not take a look at the uplink. Confirms the kill on Wait. The cap is happening. The newbies will this down to the one. Still happening in the background. <laughs> Andy Bud takes down Nimiat. Wow. Nicely done by Andy Bud. Not a reservist, his own. Well done. Well. Wow, that was uh, quite well, well, fastly done. What also is quite well is our sponsorship. VR cover, giving you the best, easiest, and most handsome next to me everything is uh, kind of ugly but if I'm not there it's the most handsome way to change your cover get over to vrcover.com get yourself a nice leather cover easy to swipe and clean to make sure that your sweat is not sticking to that thousand euros equipment of yours so or at least 400 at the for the answer. so make sure you head on over to vrcover to come and get yourself a nice clean shirt cover or mug then there is the scenario as now you need to be in the game you need to be hitting stuff you need to be fast quick on the heels you need to be carbon fiber you need to be bipod you need to be one slip 
you need to be Protube. A gunstock from Protube gives you the tool to hit your VR game anytime, anywhere. So make sure that you get yourself a Protube gunstock from the professionals out of France themselves. And now we are commencing our fourth round. That is a C4 landing right there, and he, but going for the strong push. He wants the forward operating position. Gary taking on Wake. The defenders already losing one. Wake was a little bit too happy on the push on lane one. Yeah, uh, quite happy. He was a happy, happy little wake. But sadly, he's a daddy, daddy little wake. So far, the position, despite the defenders are set, they are not going to take the risk for a cap, it seems. Oh, nut job taking out Nimiat. Donnie giving out some fire. Nibat waiting still in his position. Nut job taking out Moosecraft. Yet again, he's only taken out two already. And he but taken on Donny. Two of the attackers are remaining. Hi, I'm Gary. He takes on Nudge. We got a little bit too excited there. It's a three against two. Shadow Warrior takes down Frost Knight. It is now Gary. Come on. It's quite a good song, at least the German version. And he dropped his tablet. Not that he needs it anymore. comes around, eliminates the last of the loyal dogs, the match has been ended here, the newbies win all three maps and the series, and they win point wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been concluded with a 4-1 on Suburbia in the last round, Tanker 4-3, Cairo 4-1. Makes it 12 to 4 against the loyal dog esports for the news. I thank you all for watching. This was Chatting Parrot on a very calm task cast this afternoon.
for you the credits. So make sure to hit on over to our Discord to stay in touch with the community and also on VRMasterLeague.com to see more casts and matches going on for you. This was Shedding Parrot. I wish you a nice evening.